After the gifts have been open and the meal has been eaten, there are great opportunities for sharing special moments as a family. Elise McGregor, the owner of Little Newton's Early Education Centers, joins us with ideas for making a family connection this holiday. And Elise, this is what we all really crave, isn't it? Yeah, and you know, studies show that holidays are much more enjoyable when they are spent with family. And I think that we as parents have a lot of opportunities to spend some time, especially with being off for a few days and having kids home for Christmas break. Yeah, I, I think that's a challenge as a parent because you want to teach them that the holidays aren't transactional. Mm -hmm. It's not just, okay, this is when I get stuff. So so how, how do we strategize? How do I avoid them from thinking of Christmas as just that? You know, I think it's instilling holiday traditions. And what's funny is that you as adult, you remember your traditions from when you were younger. Right, and, and then, it's not about getting presents. Right, and yeah. then you come together and you make some for your children. And and one thing that they can do is there's still lots of Christmas lights out. Yeah. And if you haven't done that before Christmas, you can go around and just take drive around as a family. Yeah. Babies and toddlers love taking in the colors. Oh, the older for sure. kids yeah. like to count them. How many times can you see Santa? You can make a game out of it for sure. Uh, let's talk about the idea of giving because that is really the underpinning of the season, yeah. right? Yes. And I do this with my children prior to Christmas, but in order to receive gifts, they have to go through their toys, their ideas. Items and yeah. they have to donate. So oh, cool! It kind of, it's, great idea. you know, it trades on. You're getting new stuff, and what I mean for me, it purges my house, but it also right. really yes. teaches yeah. them to um, to give back as well. My parents always had us write thank you notes uh, thank when you. we were kids, starting very, very young. Tell us a little bit about a gratitude list. Kind yeah, of a spin on that. And I think taking a step away, especially you know, spending time with family and realizing what's really important, and it's spending time with family and what are you grateful for, and making mm -hmm. a list. Of gratitude, but then interestingly, keeping that on the fridge to remind them oh, of yeah. what they remembered that day. So it's not fleeting. It's exactly. Yeah. New Year's resolutions can be uh, really a lot of fun with little kids, especially. It can, and um, I think it's a great opportunity looking into the new year if there are things, depending on the age of the children, what they want to change and what they want to look forward to. And we as adults, you know, make our resolutions, and I think you have you have a really great opportunity with your kids. I think that'll be fun. I really hope my older son resolves not to hit his younger brother. That would be nice. That would be, nice. be great. And the hope is that all of these things that we do during the holiday season become things that are just part of our life. Yeah. 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 Cool. Uh, Elise McGregor, owner of Little Newton's Early Education Centers. Thank you so much. Thank you.